Struggling with slow broadband speeds can be incredibly frustrating. There's nothing worse than watching Netflix and having it buffer all the time, or dropping out of an important Zoom call. In this video, we've explained 7 tips you can use to hopefully improve your home broadband speeds. We've ordered these tips from most to least useful, in our opinion, so we'd recommend working through them in order, skipping any techniques you might have already tried. The number one reason most people face slow broadband speeds is because you don't have enough bandwidth to meet your data demands. If you max out your bandwidth on one device, for example by downloading a large file, then your internet might seem very slow on other devices. To fix this, you can upgrade your connection, assuming that fast fibre broadband is available where you live. The issue is, upgrading your connection will increase your monthly cost, often by quite a lot. Fast fibre broadband isn't cheap in the UK. Instead, you might be able to improve your speeds by reducing the amount of bandwidth that you use. For example, consider doing large downloads overnight, when no one else is online. Or, avoid watching 4K ultra high definition video when anyone else is on the internet, to avoid their speeds slowing down considerably. Wi-Fi is a very convenient way of getting online, but it can also be very inconsistent especially if your device is a long way from the router. Rather than using Wi-Fi, try to plug your computer or games console into the router directly, using an Ethernet cable. And if you can't reach the router with an Ethernet cable, try to use a power line adapter. These gadgets use your electricity cables to provide an internet connection, helping you get better speeds and latency when compared to using Wi-Fi. If you need to use Wi-Fi, a Wi-Fi analyzer app can give you some ideas to help you improve your signal strength. Using these types of apps, you can see if any other Wi-Fi hotspots are interfering with your network. And if they are, you can change to a different channel by logging into your router's settings. These types of apps provide a DBM rating, which shows your signal strength. The higher the number, or the closer it is to zero, the stronger your signal is. If your signal strength is lower than negative 85 DBM, you should consider moving your router to give you a stronger signal. Or, you can also use Wi-Fi signal boosters if you have a large house. When you visit a web page, your device has to find the IP address associated with the URL of the page you're trying to visit. To do this, your device asks for this information from a domain name system server, also known as a DNS server. Once contacted, the DNS server tells your device the IP address it's looking for. At the moment, you're probably using the DNS servers maintained by your broadband provider. This is normally fine, but sometimes they can be a bit slow. To make things a bit faster, you might like to use different DNS servers, such as the ones maintained by Cloudflare. Here's how to change your DNS servers on a Windows PC. You can also change your DNS servers on most other devices, including phones and games consoles. Sometimes, your broadband isn't actually all that slow, and it's just the hardware you're using that makes it feel quite sluggish. On your phone, try deleting old apps and update to the latest version of your phone's operating system. Also, try to clear your file cache and delete any unwanted photos or videos that you no longer need. On your computer, you can do the same thing, and it's also a good idea to run a tool like CCleaner to purge temporary files that could be slowing you down. If you live somewhere with terrible broadband speeds, such as in the countryside, you might be able to get a faster connection using 4G technology. Using a dongle or Wi-Fi device, you can connect to the internet using the 4G network, just like on your phone. You can even get ultra-fast speeds with 5G technology if you live somewhere with 5G signal. If mobile coverage is very poor where you live, you can also get a company to come and install an antenna on your house and then hook it up to a 4G router. To learn more about this, read our guide to 4G routers, which we've linked to in the description. If you're stuck with a slow broadband connection, you can at least make web browsing faster by blocking ads from loading. Depending on the website, 
The process of loading ads can add a few seconds or more to the page load time, making things feel extremely slow. By using an ad blocker, you can prevent these ads from showing up and make web pages load faster. On most browsers, the best ad blocker is currently uBlock Origin. And on mobile phones, we'd recommend installing Brave Browser because it blocks ads and tracking scripts by default. If your broadband speeds are terrible and nothing seems to solve the problem, it's worth investigating whether you're getting the speeds that you're actually paying for. If you're not getting the speeds that you're paying for, you should ring up your provider and complain and get them to fix the issue. Sometimes, you might not be getting the speeds that you're supposed to due to faulty hardware, such as the router you're using. In this case, your broadband provider can help to troubleshoot the issue. To learn more tips to improve your broadband speeds, you can read our guide on the subject, which we've linked to in the description. Also, if you're looking for advice on improving your broadband connection, feel free to leave a comment below and we'll help out. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more broadband tips and tricks.